If you have been watching my Truly Bedrock content either on YouTube or Twitch for over the last month, you may have noticed that I've been using nothing but a trident. No sword, no bow, just the good old pitchfork of the sea. While this may have started as a joke, I have grown quite fond of my trident, and I'm here to show you today why the trident should absolutely be included in your arsenal when wandering your Minecraft worlds. The first thing you need to know is how to obtain the trident. It cannot be crafted or found. You must pick it up from defeating a drowned. However, just because you defeat a drowned does not mean you will instantly get a trident. There is a 15% chance in Bedrock Edition and a 6% chance in Java that a drowned is carrying a trident. If they have a trident, you still only have about an 8.5% chance to obtain that trident from one of those guys. You also cannot cheat the system by waiting for a drowned to throw their trident at you. No, no, no. You cannot pick it up from them that way. It only comes from slain drowned. However, if another player in the game throws one at you, it is fair game and you can pick it up off the ground. It's yours. Once you have a trident in your possession, you are able to use it in a couple of different ways. First, you can use it as a melee weapon. If you choose to use it in this way, the trident will deal more base damage than an unenchanted diamond sword, but it has the durability of only an iron sword. In other words, use it sparingly, because you'll need to repair it more often. You can also use the trident as a ranged weapon, just like a bow and arrow or a crossbow. The longer you hold down on the trident before letting it loose, the more the trident will charge up, similar to a bow and arrow. However, the weapon charge will not affect the damage output, either positively or negatively. A thrown trident has about 80% the damage strength of an arrow, knocking out about four hearts worth of damage. So it's a nice weapon to have if you're the attacker, but if you are on the defense, you can use a shield to block the trident, which will deflect it and it'll fall to the ground. Just like every tool, weapon, or piece of armor in the game, you won't want to use this weapon for long unless you've got some enchantments. So, what enchantments are available specifically for the trident? First up, loyalty is an enchantment that allows you to essentially tie your trident to a bungee cord. You can throw it at any mob, any player, any block, and it will safely return back to your hands. No need to run and pick it up. This is a must have if you're gonna use a trident regularly, especially in PVP combat. The higher the level of loyalty that you have on your trident, the quicker that it will return back to you. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to get loyalty three. If you are exploring in the end and you happen to throw your trident into the void while playing Java Edition, you're kind of out of luck. Your trident is going to get destroyed even with that loyalty enchant. However, this is not the case on Bedrock Edition as it will still return safely to your hands, once again proving why Bedrock Edition is the best version of my- Riptide is another useful enchant that will launch the player through the water and even up out of the water. Just like loyalty, the higher the Riptide enchant, the better the enchantment you will get, and you will fly a lot farther through the water. If you happen to have an elytra on as well, this is a great and fun way to launch yourself up into the air before using rockets to fly off to your next destination. And as an added bonus, if it happens to be raining when you exit the ocean, you can use Riptide to propel yourself instead of rockets. It's a pretty great way to show off your aerial combat skills. Do a barrel roll! Riptide isn't just a fun way to play Aquaman, however, but it has useful combat function in the game as well. You must be in the water or must be raining in order for Riptide to be active, but when active, Riptide will deal splash damage to the surrounding mobs or players. If you have the impaling enchantment and strength effect, it will also stack damage with those as well making the trident a very powerful and formidable weapon, but you gotta be in the water. If you also can't be bothered to go fishing the traditional way, Riptide is a pretty great way to go hunting for food. Just be careful to note that Riptide is not compatible with loyalty or channeling. You must choose. Speaking of channeling, this is a great way to combine the powers of Aquaman and Thor all into one. If you happen to be using the trident during a thunderstorm with channeling, you are able to summon a lightning bolt down onto whatever unfortunate mob you decide to hit. This is a pretty great method for obtaining charged creepers as well, which used to be pretty rare to find. Now, all you need is a trident 
in a thunderstorm. Impaling is basically the sharpness for your trident. It allows you to deal a little bit more damage. However, there is a catch. Yep, you guessed it. You gotta be in the water. Or it's gotta be raining, once again. In Java Edition, this works great on mobs. However, in Bedrock Edition, you can also use it on mobs and other players. Just take it from me, don't go start a fight with someone in fully decked out diamond gear, unless it's raining and you've got Impaling 5. Then you're unstoppable. There's not much worse than thinking you are ready for a fight, whether it be against an Elder Guardian or one of your friends, only to find out that your trident is about to break. On Breaking 3 is a must-have to increase the durability of your trident so you can battle for a lot longer. Like I said, the trident has about the durability of an iron sword, so this is something you're gonna want to extend the life of your trident. And when that durability finally does run down, you don't want to have to go combining it with other tridents, increasing the XP cost to fix and fix and fix over and over again. You're gonna want mending. It's a must-have. Go grab a mending villager, go fishing, do something. Just get a mending book. Now that you know the basics of the trident and how it works, there are a few fun facts that you might want to keep in your back pocket. First, if you've got villagers that are near water, you might want to keep them a little bit more protected. If a drowned happens to throw a trident at one of your villagers and it dies, it will turn into a zombie villager. Just be careful. Make sure they're protected. In Bedrock Edition, only a Drowned can actually use the melee function of the Trident if a target is within three blocks. So better keep your distance from those guys unless you want to get bonked on the head with one of those Tridents. If you're interested in setting up traps for your friends, you can also put Tridents in dispensers as they can be shot out just like arrows. And last but not least, unlike other ranged weapons such as the crossbow or bow and arrow, the trident does not lose its speed when traveling through the water. So you don't have to worry about less damage or anything like that. It'll just fly true and hit its target head on. So what do you think? Are you ready to take the plunge into using this aquatic weapon? I have no choice right now, but you do. <laughs> I would encourage you to give it a try. It really is a fun weapon to use in game. So why don't you grab a trident and see how you do. So what's next folks? What other item or blocks are you looking to get to know? Let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe, like the video and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.